Would you like to earn 77 million loot and get 545 gems for doing that? Well I spent many months figuring out how to beat the last 15 goblin maps with the lowest town hall level possible so you can easily earn some resources and gems. In case you haven't 3 starred previous goblin maps then I strongly suggest to check out this playlist on screen or in the video description before you continue. So as hinted in the title we will start off by using bats to destroy those scatter shards on both sides. All you have to do is drop one bat spell right between these two scatter shards and then pray that Clash of Clans AI is on your side today because sometimes it happens that the scatter shards will kill all the bats. If you are unlucky like me that there will be only one bat left then feel free to moan your law. Watch Home Alone Part 1 until Part 3. <laughs> Take a trip to Stonehenge. And once you are back the bat has hopefully destroyed those scatter shards. Then drop the flame flinger from the top center to take care of the upper compartment. Send in one wall breaker between the mortar and archer tower to trigger the teslas and do the same thing on the other side. Once the flame flinger starts attacking the second archer tower it is time to destroy the bottom compartment by creating an entrance with the jump spell. Then deploy giants to target the left side mortar and archer tower mean while BK moves down from the opposite side. Drop that queen to clean goblin huts and once king's health goes below 50% use his ability. As soon as the right side mortar goes down deploy all the valkyries and rage them up. Quickly freeze the scatter shot and other defenses that are attacking the valkyries and be ready to freeze it again once the previous spell runs out. Then it is time to launch second part of the attack by deploying one lava hound on each side so that it would trigger both of these teslas. Now drop 3 balloons for each tesla that is attacking the lava hound. Once again do it on both sides. Around that time the flame flinger should be running out of fuel which then deploys first of all the goblin who of course is very important for the attack as he will be there to observe how his brothers are getting absolutely roasted. Then a minion to trigger some air traps. And lastly the electro titan to knock out all the teslas one by one with the help of a rage spell and a freeze. Now just wait until rest of the buildings are being cleaned up and congratulations you have just earned some extra resources. First of all drop one balloon right about between these two where the veins and straight after blimp containing two super archers and a super wizard. As soon as the blimp flies over the walls drop invisibility spell around the eagle artillery followed by clone spell and a rage. Once you have done that immediately use another invisibility spell but now make sure to take full advantage of its duration by counting to four and dropping a new spell every time you are about to say number four. You have to be able to cover your troops with the invisibility spells so that the goblin castle will get destroyed before the headhunters or lava hound comes out. Also all these buildings have to be destroyed. If something went wrong then no worries simply get another blimp with troops and try again. If you have successfully nailed that first part then it's time to drop your queen with the healers from the top left side so that she would move towards the bottom side. As soon as the queen destroys the elixir storage deploy one ice golem and a barbarian king from the cannon. Place the grand warden right between the heroes for the HP increase. As the king moves towards the left side opening deploy another rice golem to the mortar right here. Once the queen has cleaned up the cannon and tesla drop the wall breakers to open up this wall and then deploy one more ice golem from the very same spot. Use two balloons to trigger the air seeking mines to protect the healers. Then deploy last ice golems so that one would go from this opening and another would move inside the base from the left opening. Now send in the valkyries in a similar way one by one because you don't want them to get all that splash damage from the scatter shots. When valkyries are about to reach to the defenses use rage spell to kill all the skeletons and take down the scatter shots. Also make sure to use the grand warden's ability to keep as many valkyries alive as possible. As soon as the last two scatter shots start targeting the queen drop a freeze spell on them. Now the queen should be able to take down both of the scatter shots leaving only the old man alive who takes his time to slowly clean up rest of the base for that 3 star. First of all deploy a balloon and immediately after a blimp containing two super archers, a super wizard, and an archer. Make sure to drop your first invisibility spell right before the blimp explodes so that the scatter shots are not gonna kill the troops. Right after the invisibility spell drop a clone spell and a rage. Then keep using invisibility spells to protect your troops. Ideally you need to destroy all three eagle artilleries alongside with the defending clan castle troops. Scatter shots, and these three inferno towers. Once once you have done that move to the right side to deploy your barbarian king to tank some damage and right after one balloon to trigger
of the air seeking mine behind the Tesla. Deploy an electro dragon to destroy the Tesla and rage it up. Use the king's ability when his health gets below 50%. Now drop another balloon and an electro dragon from the second Tesla so that it would funnel towards the bottom side of the base. When the electro dragon reaches to the wizard tower drop a balloon to trigger one of the air seeking mines found at the bottom side of this base. Then drop another balloon right here alongside with three electro dragons supported by the grand warden. Two balloons right between these cannons to trigger two more air seeking mines and now one more balloon followed by two electro dragons to join rest of the dragons. As they are moving towards the left side use your last balloon to trigger this air seeking mine right here. Once they will get to the attacking range of the left side defenses activate the grand warden's ability. Use your archer queen to destroy these teslas and try to save the ability for the archer tower at the top. Similarly to previous goblin map tutorials we will be using the blimp filled with two super archers and a super wizard but the difference is that we need the blimp to go all the way to the core so the air mode grand warden is going to help us with that. As soon as the blimp is about to fly out of the aura activate the warden's ability. Once the blimp is above the eagle artillery drop your first invisibility spell followed by two clone spells and a rage. Now it's time to keep dropping those invisibility spells every 4 seconds until the core is cleaned up nicely. When that is done be patient and wait until the old man takes his time to clean up those cannons and as soon as it is about to target the goblin huts use two balloons to destroy the archer tower. Now deploy your queen alongside with the healers and once she destroys the air defense send in a balloon to trigger that air seeking mine. As she is about to destroy that wizard tower deploy ice golem to tank some damage for the queen. Since the ground targeting X bow locks onto the queen you have to pop her ability in order to successfully take down the inferno towers which then allows the healers to heal up the queen and move out of the X bow's range. Once the goblin hut is destroyed deploy a golem and the king to tank the damage coming from the defenses. As soon as the king and golem are inside the base drop one pekka from each entrance and an additional pekka from the center opening. When the king is low HP make sure to use his ability. There is one mistake I made that I would advise to do differently in order to have even more troops left which is right about here. Do not deploy the wall breakers when there is elixir storage inside this compartment. Let the queen destroy it and then deploy the wall breakers from here. This way they would open up this wall so queen can follow and help rest of the troops clean up the scatter shots. This base can also be beaten by Town Hall 12 but since I didn't have an account for it then I had to do this tutorial with Town Hall 13. First of all what you wanna do is to deploy that old man with some healing support from the top of the base. Allow him to clean up those cannons from both sides and then drop one balloon to trigger the air seeking mine. Once he is about to destroy one of those storages deploy blimp filled with two super archers and two super wizards. If you have level 50 warden then activate the eternal dome as soon as the blimp's shadow is above the wall because otherwise it moves way too far inside the base but you want it to land right at the top of the eagle artillery. Just before the blimp is gonna explode drop the invisibility spell followed by the clone spell and a rage. Now simply keep the clan castle troops alive as long as possible using rest of the invisibility spells. Depending on the invisibility spell level you have count the seconds to make the most out of its duration. Once the warden starts targeting the archer tower deploy your king and queen to take care of those outer archer towers that create a perfect funnel for the miners to go inside the base. After miners have been deployed send in royal champion. Now try to keep your miners and heroes alive using their abilities and the heal spell. As soon as the army is moving towards the right side inferno towers deploy a giant from the bomb tower alongside with valkyries to get rid of those skeletons and a bomb tower. Now simply sit back and relax as the troops are swarming over the last few defenses. First thing you wanna do is to deploy flame flinger right between these two air defenses and then wait until it starts targeting that eagle artillery. Once the eagle artillery is about 50% HP start the second part of the attack by deploying your archer queen and grand warden from the opposite side of the map. Use three wall breakers to make an opening and then be ready to deploy healers once both their defenses are destroyed. Now your goal is to destroy the eagle artillery and one of the scatter shots. To do that you will need to use some valkyries here and there to quickly 
quickly get rid of those annoying skeletons. When the queen gets low HP then use the rage spells and freeze spells to keep her alive until both the artillery and scatter shot are destroyed. If you are out of rage spells and queen starts to lose HP in a rapid pace again then quickly drop rest of the valkyries and then use the grand warden's ability. Drop haste spells on valkyries so they will quickly get rid of that scatter shot. Also use heal spells to keep valkyries nice and healthy whenever necessary. Then sacrifice your king and royal champion just so they would distract the last scatter shot meanwhile the valkyries are working their way through the defenses. Now simply enjoy how the skeletons and builders are getting absolutely butchered. First of all deploy that flame flinger to destroy the scatter shot and the inferno towers. Next up it's quite 50-50 which air defense the siege machine is going to target. If it's going to attack the bottom air defense then drop 3 wall breakers slightly to the upper side. And if it's going to target the top air defense like it happened here then drop your wall breakers slightly from the bottom side. It is very important because otherwise they will run to the walls that are already damaged by the flame flinger. Once there is an opening send in another wall breaker that would trigger the skeleton traps and the freeze trap. Use one Valkyrie to kill the skeletons before they do any harm to the flame flinger. If the reinforcement troops are going to destroy the upper eagle artillery then the last part of the attack starts from the bottom side and vice versa. Try to remember that because you never know how the flame flinger is going to funnel. Now we are going to execute a queen walk that is supposed to destroy the left side compartment and both of the eagle artilleries as well as the goblin hall. Start off by deploying your queen from here but try to avoid my mistake by dropping the healers so close to the air defense that caused me to lose one of my healers. As the queen gets slow in HP drop that freeze spell so it would cover all these defenses and then deploy 3 wall breakers from here. Now I can't fully tell how you should deploy your spells but try your best to avoid queen dying using all the freeze spells, 2 rage spells, 1 ice golem, and a valkyrie to help with the skeletons. To prevent another one of my mistakes you can use 2 balloons to trigger these air seeking mines but to be honest even after losing 2 healers I was successfully able to destroy all the necessary buildings. Now it's time for the last part of the attack and as I said before because the reinforcement troops destroyed the bottom right side eagle artillery then we start the last phase from the upper compartment by deploying that ice golem to distract that scatter shot then deploy balloons equally from both their defenses and speed them up using haste spells deploy the old man to support the balloons and then send in two lava hounds to tank the eagle artillery shots as well as trigger all the traps in the bottom compartment immediately after the lava hounds deploy your king and royal champion so that they would destroy the eagle artillery as quickly as possible as the troops are moving towards the bottom compartment I was supposed to use that last ice golem to distract the scatter shot but I missed it which in the end didn't even matter as half of the army survived anyway. We will start off by deploying a flame flinger that is going to clean up for us to archer towers. Two scatter shots, inferno tower and the air sweeper. Then the reinforcement troops will destroy the builder hut and deal some damage to the inferno towers. Now we are going to trigger the traps around bottom builder hut by using two barbarians and then doing the same for the left side builder hut. Once that is done drop a nice golem to tank the incoming damage. Yeti to destroy the buildings and valkyries to get rid of the skeletons. Deploy a giant and another valkyrie once the second group of skeletons arrive. The same thing is going to happen for the left side builder hut except we don't need the second valkyrie. When the builder hut goes down deploy two ice golems to tank the damage for the heroes. As soon as one of the ice golems dies deploy 5 wall breakers to help break down the wall. Then send in all the valkyries followed by the baby warden for that HP increase. Use rage spell for the first compartment and then use the grand warden's ability. Drop both jump spell and another rage spell right onto the goblin hut and once the valkyries reach to the upper left compartment use a heal spell. Now simply use rest of the spells and hero abilities whenever you need them but in all honesty they are probably even not needed. Start off by dropping 4 skeleton spells at the top of the goblin castle and now wait until it's destroyed. Then deploy 4 balloons to trigger the teslas and make sure this one gets knocked down as well. Now use the flame flinger right in front of the BK statue so that it wouldn't be in the range of the teslas. As soon as the eagle artillery is about to be destroyed deploy a hog rider to trigger rest of the teslas and immediately use one valkyrie to kill the skeletons. 
Once it goes back to bottom side defenses and triggers the skeleton traps then use one more Valkyrie. After the reinforcement troops have died there should be a little opening for the troops to go inside the donut base. First of all deploy to ice golems. Wait a little bit and then send in your heroes. Valkyries and the baby warden for the HP buff. Use the haste spells to speed up the Valkyries for faster cleanup and heal spell to keep them nice and healthy whenever they get low HP. Since the goblin hall and scatter shots are the highest threat for Valkyrie army then drop that rage spell once the army gets in their attack range. Now simply use heal spells to keep them alive and don't forget to use the hero abilities when necessary. This base was so easy to beat that I was able to do it with my first attempt. Unlike with the previous goblin map this is a lot harder so if you are going to attempt to beat it with town hall 13 then I would advise to use both hero and power potion. We will start off by deploying a grand warden to destroy the builder huts. As soon as he is going for that second hit on the second builder hut go over to the top side to trigger the skeleton traps by using barbarians. Simply drop one barbarian right at the middle of the builder hut as you should be able to trigger from each hut at least 4 traps. Bottom side traps should be triggered only when the upper side skeletons are getting nearby. The timing is really important in order for the Grand Warden to clean up all 5 builder huts right before the skeletons arrive so make sure to follow the instructions precisely. Once all 5 builder huts are destroyed deploy 3 balloons. 1 Valkyrie and a blimp filled with 2 super archers and 2 super wizards. Before any troops could die use the eternal dome so that the balloons would survive and destroy that bottom scatter shot. Right before the blimp explodes use invisibility spell followed by two clone spells and a rage spell. Now keep dropping those invisibility spells every 4 seconds. If you wish count the seconds out loud because it's very important to use the maximum duration of the invisibility spells. The more attacks reinforcement troops are able to make the higher the chances for other troops to clean up rest of the buildings because you need to get down the goblin hall. All the eagle artilleries, all the inner builder huts and at least two single targeting inferno towers. Once that has been successfully completed it is time to trigger all the skeleton traps that have been set to air because they will significantly slow down and distract the heroes when they are cleaning up the rest of the buildings. One thing to remember is to start triggering the traps from the top side. When all of them have been triggered lure them to the bottom left side and as soon as they are getting near the healers drop a poison spell on them. This way none of them will be able to even touch the healers. Now the cleanup starts by deploying that ice golem to distract and freeze the defenses while archer queen yeti and Valkyries are cleaning up the Teslas. Since the actual Grand Warden is pooping into Bob's basement then we are going to replace him with two Baby Wardens to give the troops and heroes some HP increase. Once the funnel has been created deploy rest of the Yetis and heroes. Thanks to the HP buff and healing from the healers they are able to walk all the way around the base to clean up rest of the buildings. Make sure to use the hero abilities whenever they are about to die. First of all deploy yetis right about here followed by log launcher from the middle. Then send into ice golems with some more yetis. Now spam in all the heroes, baby warden and all the valkyries into groups. As soon as the troops are about to leave grand wardens aura and right before the eagle artillery shells land use the eternal dome ability and quickly after drop a rage spell. Once the eternal dome effect runs out freeze the nearby monoliths. Use heal spells to keep the valkyries alive. If you are wondering what's inside the log launcher then there are are two yetis, two wizards and one archer. Now when it comes to the spells that are left then the last rage spell should be used where most of the valkyries are so they can quickly take down the defenses. Last freeze can be used on whatever key defense is still up and attacking your troops. And this is how you 3 star monolithic with a spam attack. First of all deploy a flame flinger filled with rocket balloons from the bottom center of the base. Wait until it cleans the bottom compartment. When the flame flinger is about to die it's time to deploy the heroes from this cannon so they would destroy the expo and the air defense. Once that is done we can start spamming by sending in all the balloons and electro dragons followed by the grand warden in air mode. Do not forget to use queen's ability in case she is about to die. As soon as the eagle artillery shells are about to hit the electro dragons make sure to use Use the eternal dome. Now simply rage up the dragons when needed and freeze the key defenses like eagle artillery, inferno towers, scatter shot, or the air defense once the troops get into their attack range. Now simply watch and enjoy as the raging headache gets cured by the blue painkillers. 
Quick disclaimer alert. Prepare yourself for the most difficult goblin map ever made. This base is so toxic that I am not gonna risk using my barbarian king, archer queen, or royal champion. So I am going to throw the old man under the bus. First thing you wanna do is to trigger all the skeleton traps using minions. Then deploy the old man and be patient with him as he slowly but surely destroys that head defense. Once he has done that deploy your healers and as soon as the larys with red balls arrive drop a poison spell on them so they won't be able to use their tiny swords to hit the healers. Now deploy a flame flinger from the bottom corner and make sure to place it as far from those teslas as possible so they won't damage the siege machine. While it's cleaning up that bottom side of the base go visit the old man again to see if he is still alive. As soon as he is about to destroy the tesla deploy two balloons from the bottom tesla to trigger that poison spell. In case he would have attacked the bottom tesla first then I would have had to deploy two balloons from the upper tesla in order to trigger the poison spell. Keep that in mind because you never know where the old man wants to go. Now ideally the same thing should be done for the flame flinger. Once it destroys one of the teslas you should deploy two balloons to trigger the poison spell but for some reason there was a faulty spring trap under the farm to bottle so few seconds later it threw it all over my flame flinger. Also remember to use that valkyrie once the flame flinger triggers those skeleton traps. Most importantly always keep one eye on the old man as he might need some vitamins to keep him nice and healthy. Now when the flame flinger is about to explode use that earthquake to make some additional damage to the inferno towers. Once the reinforcement troops are out use a rage spell to quickly clean up the buildings as well as feel free to freeze the inferno towers so the hog can knock them down. At around this time of the day you might have to give the old man some more of that vitamin R so he can get through that blazing hot weather. In case some of the nurses doesn't like her job and quits then simply replace her with another one because it's very important to take care of the old man even when life throws a deadly virus at him. All jokes aside the most strategical part is yet to come so make sure to to follow the instructions closely all the way to the very last second of this tutorial. Now when over 50% of the base gets destroyed all the teslas will pop up so be ready to drop some bombs on them. Since there are many air seeking mines inside these compartments then use some of the balloons to trigger them before the healers get there but even when some of them die then it's no big deal as there are plenty of healers who are ready to do the job. As the old man is taking his time to clean up the last buildings the most important part comes which is to use everything you have to help to Take out that last Tesla. First of all divide 8 balloons between these two archer towers. Then send in Grand Warden and a blimp. Immediately activate the Eternal Dome ability and now wait until the blimp flies to the single targeting Inferno Tower. Right before it gets there drop an invisibility spell followed with two clone spells and a rage. Now it's time to keep dropping those invisibility spells every 4 seconds until the core is cleaned up nicely. If the reinforcement troops are not able to destroy neither of those artilleries then no problem rest of the troops will take care of them. Most important is to destroy every single expo. Inferno Towers. Spell Towers and the Goblin Hall. Next up deploy the Archer Queen to destroy the air defense and once that is done then send in two healers to support the Queen. Make sure not to send more because otherwise the Eagle Artilleries will activate. After she has cleaned up one of the artilleries then send in all the yetis from the upper archer tower. Also now you can deploy royal champion behind the yetis and rest of the healers as that last artillery is locked onto those yetis. As the troops are moving towards the left side teslas deploy your king and one valkyrie to kill the skeletons. Drop one hog rider to trigger the invisibility spell and once its duration is over send in rest of the hog riders. Now simply wait until the troops will clean up rest of the base. First of all drop one balloon right here to trigger the air seeking mines and the teslas. Then zoom in to drop one balloon for each tesla right here so their splash damage will affect both teslas. Now deploy another balloon between the dark elixir storages to lure out the mama. Once she is out make sure air seeking mines from both sides have been triggered as we will be using electro dragons there later on. Then draw the mama closer to the bottom side of the base so we can easily execute her. Drop a siege barrack right at the corner of the base where there are three and Inferno dragons inside. As she is walking towards the mini pecker you can deploy the inferno dragons and straight away use the freeze spell on the mama. While she is frozen quickly deploy one yeti for both elixir storages followed by electro dragon. As soon as the freeze spell duration ends drop another freeze spell on the mama. 
Once she is dead the spamming can begin by deploying the balloons. Yetas, heroes, valkyries, and the baby warden then drop a rage spell around here and right before the artillery shells are about to land on the troops activate the eternal dome ability. Heal up the army as they go inside the core where they are under a lot of damage. Freeze the monoliths and now rest of the spells should be used where necessary. I personally decided to use them to help royal champion as she is the best at taking out those defenses quickly as she does a lot of damage and can jump over the walls. Now simply wait until rest of the buildings will be cleaned up and congratulations you have just earned extra 150 gems for beating all the goblin maps. In this playlist you can find all of the goblin map tutorials beaten with lowest town hall level possible.